So I was taking ATP Extreme for a few months and I was noticing, seeing, noticing good results. Um, my strength was going up, my, my workout times were getting faster, everything just felt good. So I wanted to put together a test to see how exactly it was working for me. So um, I stopped taking ATP for about a few months and then I put together a workout, um, a benchmark, um, 30 clean and jerks, ascending ladder. Um, the first weight was 185 for 10 reps, and then I moved up uh, 205 for 10 reps, and then the last 10 reps was 225. So I did that test and got a time without doing ATP. I got 6, 630, 635. Um, so then I started back ATP again, and for two weeks, did everything, all my training the same, and did that test, that benchmark again, and just in two weeks doing ATP, I improved one minute. So um, I didn't train for that workout. I just continued normal training. Um, I didn't specify I like, couldn't jerk workout. Uh, I just constantly varied, rowing, running, doing what I always do. And then I just retested it after two weeks and my time dropped one full minute. One full minute in that workout, I thought it was a really big improvement. Because um, the first time I thought, Dang, I can't really improve off of that. I thought maybe if I was going to improve, maybe five, ten seconds, but a full minute, I really thought that was a big improvement, and ATP helped me do that.